This is an FFG Top 10. I'm Paul Burry. And I'm Team Gamer. And this FFG, FFG Top 10 is going to be about what we want to see at E3 2017. I guess I can start it off. My number 10 for one of the things I would like to see at E3 is the return of the NBA Live. For oh, yes. Yeah. Because it seems like this year got delayed and I mean, it's getting to the point where they start announcing the next one. It's almost E3. Well, EA is one of those companies kind of the, the flaky stuff where they're like, come follow our Twitter and follow our Facebook and follow our blog and listen to what we have to say. And it's like, well, you know, when there's like 50 companies doing that, we just can't go every day to 50 companies and see what they have to say. You know, they need to send out the press releases and everything. And they, they've been really flaky about that. So that's kind of why. Uh, my number 10 would be 3DS games playable on the Switch. I'm not sure how they do it. Maybe with a special cartridge? Uh, cartridge, adapter, there's a USB port, there's HDMI ports. Now, you might be like, uh, yeah, good luck with that. A lot of my things might be wish things I would like to see. I'm not sure they're going to have a high probability of happening. My number nine is Lego Dimensions to Year 3. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Year one, they had it at E3. Year two, they announced everything at E3, so mm -hmm. year three they should as well. Or we're going to be expecting a new one, one of the two. Yeah, Lego Dimensions 2, or they're going to keep adding to it and giving us some more, you know, stuff. Who knows what franchise they'll come up with this time. They, they, they're always surprising us with yeah. what they come up with. Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Damn it, Teen Titans Go. But that doesn't even come out yet. I don't know if they've been asked, no. so. uh, My number nine is kids games. It used to be every E3 uh, for quite a while there. There was all these different kids games, you know, 2K Play and Majesco and others would have kids games and now it's like none. Zip, zip, zero. Crickets chirping. It's just meh. Yeah. My number six, or eight. no, it's eight. I can't count today. It was Crash Bandicoot mm -hmm. since we know that there's uh, what, the remastered and I think there's a new game. Activision, yeah. Activision's bringing Crash Bandicoot back. My number eight is Lego Guardians of the Galaxy. I think yeah, they sense. need a Lego Guardians of the Galaxy video game. Um, they did a Disney Infinity Lego video game. Yeah, so... You're not Lego, but Guardians of the Galaxy. So I really think they need Lego's Guardians of the Galaxy, whether it's just a Lego Guardians of the Galaxy game or whether it's within um, Lego Dimensions. Either way. The Lego Dimensions is a little well, that would make, miniature, but it would ha it could, it, they could do it. It would be a bit weird. We have Space Traveler's time. Uh, who knows? It might be. Yeah, I don't know how they do it, but yeah. Uh, my number seven is Sonic 06 Remastered. I mean, uh, Sonic Forces. <laughs> Let's hope it's not Sonic 06 Remastered. Yes. It, it looks as realistic as Sonic 06, so... It looks kind of like Sonic Armageddon. Oh, okay then. <laughs> Sonic into the world. Um, my number seven is Bonk RPG. Yes, I'm going way back for this one. Never got finished, never got completed, never got released. I still want it. All these decades later, I still want that game. So come on, somebody, get on it. And as you all probably know, THQ is back. They merged with mm. Nordic. So my number six is they're pretty much their games. You yeah. have the Cars as franchise, which Warner Bros. has now. Mm -hmm. You have all the different. Uh, they did some Spider. They've done a ton of stuff. They've done. Mm. What was it? Ratatouille? They've done other stuff. They've, they've, they've done some it. stuff. They're bringing some stuff back, like, uh, oh boy. Now I'm drawing a blank. There was that. Yeah. There was that GBA game with light, solar, or something or other that they're, they're doing now. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not going uh, I wish. That would be another one to come back. Um, my number six is Zumba video games. We haven't had a Zumba exercise video game in a while. In fact, we haven't had a real good Kinect exercise game in a while. And I'm not counting those like Kung Fu Connect games that sort of put your picture on the screen and you punch and kick to no, yeah. no. I'm talking like a real exercise game, a Nike Plus. Uh, I guess you could say you're gonna get Just Dance. There's that likely. UFC trainer, but it's not new. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to get, I'd like to see Zumba come back. Zumba has been around for a while in the video game industry, and we really need more Zumba games. Because we've also recorded every single Zumba game, every song in every game, so we need some more. Yeah, um, my number five is Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now, let's see after the bombing of the first one, if maybe there's a comeback. Because Battlefront 1, the original one, was kind of met. Battlefront 2 was pretty good. That's so, PlayStation 2, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're supposed to be giving a single player campaign back. Thankfully. 
Not sure why they removed it. Well, you know EA. All it really is, all they really had to do is remaster the graphics. They didn't even have to change anything. It's the same story. But EA, Ubisoft, some of these companies are like, everyone wants to play together, don't you? Nah. So. My number five would be some future glimpses of video games. And you're like, well, what's your, the future glimpses books? I'd like to see a future glimpses Moon Murder, a future glimpses Free at Last. I'd like to see some video games of those books. Insert shameless plug here. Okay, yeah, so I wrote the books, okay? But I really want games for my books, and I think they would be awesome games. I know they would be. Leave a comment about that, please. My number four is localized Dragon Quest games. We yeah. didn't get 10 and 11s coming. Yeah, and I really, yeah, I really want to see 10, 11, like you know, and then, out. Even that? if they put it on 3DS. Dragon Quest Monsters, I really love that series. They're supposed to be coming out with like a third one or something, and it never yeah. made it. I, I don't get you, Square Enix. You release really lame indie games, but then you won't sit there and put your, um, you know, the Dragon Quest out there. Be like, oh, we got to do Final Fantasy and remake Final Fantasy and all the fun. Oh, want some Dragon Quest? Uh, my number four is Animal Crossing Switch. I really would like to see Animal Crossing come to the Switch. Like to play Animal Crossing again, not go back to one of the old ones. So, are you listening, Nintendo? Make my, it happen. My number three is going to be a bit of a surprise Mario Party for Switch. Because the last two Mario Parties have been trash. Maybe <laughs> they'll go back to the original scheme. Let's I all sit in the same car. That was, um, no. <laughs> it, it makes things. It's, it's not like the. It's not Mario Party, it, it's um, Cart Party. Yeah. If you're going to have a cart game, maybe you should also give us a new Mario Kart. There's an honorable mention. Why don't you give us a new one? Not not a remake with the DLC of the last one. And, and a couple extra characters yeah. in Platoon to promote another one of their games that's coming out later. Yeah. My number three is VR on the Xbox One and Switch. I'll take one or the other. Well, Both would be great. I, I, think, I would like to see some VR. I think we VR. might see something at least for Xbox because they got Project Scorpio brewing. It would be great. It would be great if they actually, you know, put some VR out there because I think there's like one PlayStation VR game we actually like and we recently recently purchased, so we'll be doing a review on that. And possibly a video. Pro yeah, possibly a video, po probably a preview. Um, so you'll know what I'm talking about when it comes out. My number, number two? my number two is something we've talked about for a while: better PSVR games. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're really they're really limited right now. Or so, their um, their uh, motion uh, sickening. sickness creators they they make you nauseous like drive club VR. Here's an example: Star Wars Battlefront. Yes, it may be cool to fly in the X-wing, but that's all we can do in VR. Pretty much. I mean, yeah. it's not like you're when you're fighting your VR. Yeah, I don't understand. Any first-person shooter should be fine to do go in VR. Yeah, I don't well, know why you can't. If you just, just put on the headset, you get the experience. Because yeah. it's like that big TV. Or, or any first-person perspective game, I should say. Because even like Portal, Minecraft, yeah. They should all work great in VR. I'm just, yeah, whatever. My number two is Shining Force. I want a new Shining Force game. I don't want them to port something again. Shining I Force want something is dead. new. I don't care. I still want it. If I, this is my what I want to see, this is what I want to see. Another Shining Force. Shining Force has been dead since Genesis. Or, or at the, if, if you're gonna if you're gonna port something, how about all three parts of Shining Force Three in the U.S.? Sega, are you listening? I know you're kind of messed up with Atlas there, but come on now, you can do it. You guys can humble yourselves and make nice with the developer, and this can all happen if you could make nice and not be so arrogant and have your nose up in the clouds. So my number one is Kingdom Hearts 3. Mm. Last E3, I was excited to hear about it. We did not get any type of news except for for maybe five seconds. <laughs> this is all we got. Went, during like the Sony intro. And it was like accidental. See, I was like, oops, don't, didn't show that. You can see Sora doing some, some fighting or something, looking like Sonic bouncing off things. And then they're like, yeah. oh, oh, cut it off. Oops, don't want to show you that. My number one is the Bible Game 2. Uh, I have a 3% hope of this actually happening, but I would like to see the Bible Game 2. And you never know, because Cookie Mama came back this year. Hall of Famer Cookie Mama came back. You know, so. you probably have a better chance of getting uh, games about your books than... <laughs> <laughs> That's all my thoughts. Hey, you know, please leave us a comment below. Um, tell people about this channel and videos and uh, you know help us get the word out you know give us your top 10 uh, what you agree with disagree with what you think even, even though put a percentage 
you'll be like, okay, based on what you guys have, there's a percentage of it being seen at E3 2017. Some of these things might be likely, some of them not. Mine say more games. Yours, yours, are, yours are more likely. Well, yours have already been announced, so. Well, it's, it's because of what we were excited to see. Yeah. Mostly. Well, and you can be excited to see better PSVR games, and then you actually play them, and you're like, oh, this is horrible. I mean. You know, they can be like, they can look awesome. You know, in the trailer or, or, or what? Yeah. How the companies spew all their propaganda, and then you actually play it, and you're like, "Yeah, they were lying again." Final Fantasy 15. Yeah. So I, I regret that game. Thanks for watching. Bye.